What's up, skate fam? This is David Laliette from Double D, and today I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana at Hot Wheels Skate Palace with the speed skating team coach, Jeffrey Puckett. Man, I honestly, I can't believe what Puckett did that he got, you know, a small crew of people together and did this floor like that out of pocket and that's just you know that's how much they believe in skating that's how much like how much i guess social power that that jeffrey commands where he like you know inspires other people to get out with him and put roll on on a floor jeffrey would you tell us a little bit about your skating background where you where you started how old were you when you started man when i was like three years old I used to go out skating all the time. My mom used to buy me the little skates. They used to strap on your feet, the little metal skates, skate around in the driveway. Uh, you name it, I just love to skate. The little bit of time that I've known him, you know, it doesn't matter what you're doing, he can find a way to inspire you to do it. And it just has this, this just go get it energy around them. And it's just like 100, 110% is an insult. It's like, I don't think there's a number for that yet because it's just, his drive to do stuff is just relentless. We've skated with you um, on the other side of town in Bossier and we heard that they, I haven't been there myself since they did it, but we heard that they cut their floor and you guys lost a place to practice there, right? Well, yeah, it was just, there's a lot going on with the rinks right now. You know? You know, I guess I guess it just kind of shuffled us out a little bit. So we took to the street. We did what we had to do. And um, he came around. You know, he came around and he, he helped out a lot. We had a very good time. We got nationals in a few weeks. So it couldn't be a better timing to get plastic on the floor and get back in the rink. And now we're back in the rink and um, we're feeling real comfortable. So, you know, we'll make some big moves this year. Definitely open some eyes. your team together and you guys pulled some money together and you came to this rink in Shreveport where you still have a full-size floor and and what what did y'all do y'all y'all got your crew together and and you put a urethane coat on the floor yeah but we use roll-on well, the rink owner wanted roll-on and you know roll-on's actually look it's a good coat it's a great coat to have and he ordered it and we laid it down we paid for it the team paid for it and uh, we put it together, he allowed us to do that, and we're grateful. A good floor is really confidence inspiring, whether you're a beginner or a professional, world class skater. A good floor makes a huge difference. It's nice to have somebody like that around because it, it makes you stop and look at yourself like, all right, this dude is going, you know, every second of every day. How do I do that? Even when he's exhausted, still kicking hard. I'm like, geez, dude, how do you do this? <laughs> I'm so much younger than you, and I'm not even close to being that driven. We just want to grow. We want to. We want to grow skaters. We want people that love to skate to grow and to to come and learn the sport, to learn from it, learn life lessons from it, to expand not only their skating, you know, career or 
or anything like that, but but also their life, you know, the lifestyle, how, how they react to certain things, how they push through certain things, you know, different things, just everything in one. I mean, we a lot of guys I used to race, they went to the Olympics, I mean, they've done well for themselves, real well for themselves, they were awesome, and um, I would love anybody to give anything to see that as well, and I just, I, I, love, the, I love skating, and I, I love to contribute to that. I personally, man, you know, I fixate on things and like when I when I get an idea in my head, I'm just like, I have to do this. That's all I can think about. I have to do this. I have to make this happen. In that aspect, I, I really relate with Jeffrey's drive, but at the same time, I feel like if I were in his position where I had a, you know, a rink that I would have to pay out of pocket to put a urethane coating on in order to get something like that going, I would probably have second guessed myself into not doing it. Would you tell our viewers what your what your dues are, your prices for the team, and how they can get in contact with you? Okay, it's uh, five dollars a practice, unless you want to pay for the month. It's twenty-five dollars uh, for the whole month. Uh, my phone number is three one eight two zero five seven eight eight eight. You can contact me on Facebook, uh, Jeffrey Puckett. You can look me up, uh, message me if you need to. Um, Anything you need, we can figure it out. Uh, we skate outside, inside. It don't matter. We can figure out something. Uh, I really got passion and love for this, so it don't have to be an exact time. Um, I can do anything. I want to do anything I can to help. It's, it's a passion of mine. I'm trying to do as much as I can to help everybody I can. I love to skate. Uh, I compete myself, and it's just uh, you know, I just wanted to grow. I want to. I want a ripple effect that everybody, you know, is happy. That everybody can can up. learn from it. You know, and, That's what's and up. I want to be an example, so everybody can say, "Hey, look, you know, I know if he can do it, I can do it." So I just have one last question yes, for you. If you if you had to sum it up in one word, what is skating to you? Mm, awesome. 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 <laughs> That's what's up, man. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for your very time, welcome, Jeffrey. Man. Very welcome.